Well guys, look at this. This is a uh, beer store propaganda video number two of three. This is Ontario Beer Facts. So this is actually made by the beer store, if you couldn't tell by the uh, colors. So I'm going to move you over here like this. Uh, alcohol sales, stay informed. There's been a lot of talk in Ontario about, uh, well that's the same thing as everything else. Uh, convenience stores and gas station alcohol sales will have negative con consequences in Ontario for consumer prices, less, product, less product selection, reduced tax revenues, increased sales to miners, the end of an award-winning recycling system. Now see, here's I think the first part that's wrong with this whole thing. This propaganda is about keeping a monopoly. Again, not against employees of the beer store. I don't even want the beer store to, dis to disassemble completely. I want there to be truth among it. I want it to actually be reformed, to be actually brand neutral like it claims it wants to be. And I want a lot of it, again, reformed. But no, not many people are asking for it to be completely disbanded. It actually does do some good in our society, in our, in our province. There's lots of jobs involved in it, lots of money coming out of it. And, I mean, in all honesty, less product selection we'll get on to. And, the, and we'll, we'll get on to it all. Here's the myths. Common myths. If Ontario... Adopted alcohol sales at convenience stores and gas stations. Myth 1. Beer prices will be cheaper. Get the facts. Myth 2. Product selection will increase and help small microbreweries. Get the facts. Myth 3. Government tax revenues will increase. Get the facts. Myth 4. Convenience store and gas stations can be... Can't uh, can be trusted to sell to miners. Get the facts. And myth 5. The beer... S uh, beer store world class bottle setup program won't be affected. <sighs> if the beer store doesn't get disbanded, it shouldn't be affected unless the beer store does it in spite. Recent studies, and you can see the places that have done studies, recent news, uh, the studies are all people that are actually on the side of the beer store, so let's not even look at that right now. Myth 1, let's click Myth 1. So myth one is beer prices. Ontario deserves to know the facts. Convenience store and gas station beer sales will lead to higher prices. That is true. It won't lead to higher prices at the brewery. It won't lead to higher prices at the LCBO. At least it shouldn't unless greed comes into factor, which greed always comes into factor. But all in all, it will lead to higher prices at the convenience stores. Um, I'm sure it will lead to higher prices at the beer store for the major brands because the beer store will, well not the beer store but the companies that own the beer store, which are the major brands, out of spite will raise their price. Just to say, we told you this would happen. Why? Ontario's beer prices are already amongst the lowest in Canada. Only Quebec prices are lower. Um, to what I've known, that's not true. I've been to many other places in, on, in Canada. And Quebec's are lower. Yes, you are right. But I've seen lower prices elsewhere, too. Because they have significantly lower beer taxes. Uh, June 2000, our Ipsen rates are very collected. Beer prices from 90 different privately operated retail locations in Quebec, B.C., and Alberta. So, you collected beer prices from privately operated retail locations in Quebec, BC, and Alberta. Did you go to the ones that were the most expensive? Because there will be some that will have close to the same price, if not the same price as the government agencies. However, again, greed and convenience comes into hand. The results. British Columbia beer prices were 45 to 50 percent higher than Ontario's. See, I actually have a guy that keeps telling me to move out to BC because beer prices are lower than here after he asked me how much our cases of beer cost. Alberta beer prices were... 30 to 36 percent higher than Ontario's. Well, that has to do with the fact that Alberta's minimum wage is much higher than ours, and so is their expendable income. I mean, how many, how many oil rig workers are out in Alberta? Let's let's think about economies here as well. In Quebec, where provincial beer taxes on a case of 24 cans are less than half the Ontario beer prices, prices were almost equal. To any of you that have crossed the border into Quebec, be it Elmer, Hull, anywhere like that, you know. That, that isn't fully true. There is a lot of beer that is a lot cheaper than here. There's a lot of beer that is more expensive than here. 
And then we have, this survey clearly demonstrates blah, 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 blah. Who even cares anymore, right? I'm just getting agitated the more I read this stuff. Uh, beer price increases under alternate retail sales, whatever. Who cares? Ontario's retail system. Great value for alcohol customers. Yeah. You know what? We're done with this. This one here, I don't even care to read anymore. It's just stupid now. Product selection. Product selection is the one place I will give them they are right. The beer store is open to any brewer in Ontario and around the world and offers more selection than convenience stores and gas stations ever could. They are 100% correct in that. The difference with a convenience store and the beer store is that at a convenience store... For the most part, you're just going to have to convince them to sell your beer. You're not going to have to convince them, well, you're not going to have to just pay them. But this, this right here, is 100% true. 100% true. I cannot deny that from them. Uh, incredible selection for Ontario beer drinkers. The beer store allows any brewer, large or small, to sell any beer product they choose in any of our 447 retail locations. And the beer store plays a role in setting brewer prices. Each brewer demonstrates their, uh, determine, uh, plays no role, sorry. Uh, sets their own settling prices. That's true, except the government actually chooses the prices for the most part, because there is a minimum price. Uh, other than that, the rest of the prices are, for the most part, done by the beer store owners. Um... So the beer store now offers more than 420 brands from 100 brewers. We've already gone over this, I'd say about 26 brewers. With 20% of brands coming from Ontario craft brewers. Well, the beer store, well, 20% might come from Ontario craft brewers, but it's the exact same Ontario craft brewers. What is it? There's Muskoka in there, Flying Monkeys, Bows, um, Amsterdam. Uh, Nickelbrook has, I think, one beer in there. Uh, Stonehammer has a couple beers in there, but just around the Guelph area. Um, well, the beer store discounts its service charges for smaller brewers to support their growth. Space con constrained convenience stores and gas stations would have little space for local and craft brands, but some will only have local and craft brands, let's be honest, and some will only carry big brands. That is a piece of propaganda that is propaganda and true at the same time. Ken Woods, the president of Etobicoke's Black Oak Brewing, estimates that uh, selling beer in convenience stores would hurt the smaller uh, the market share of small local brewers and possibly put some out of business almost immediately. I wouldn't think almost immediately, but I do agree with the Ken that it will hurt some of the smaller brewers because there will be more access to big brands everywhere. I don't think it's fully, oh my god, the roof's going to cave in, but Ken Woods of Black Oak does rely a lot on beer store sales, let's be honest with him. A lot of the guys do, and that's fine, that's fine. The, beer, uh, well, the next video is going to be kind of a plus on the beer store side. New stores, selection and service, a new brand, who even cares about that stuff? We're just looking at most of the propaganda, right? Let's go to the next propaganda thing, government tax revenues. The numbers are clear. Ontario's existing retail system is a significantly better deal for both consumers and government. Government revenue, even though average beer prices in Ontario and Quebec are similar, see, I, see, Upsis Read just found places that were similar or more expensive. It's not hard. I could do the same study and show that every province is cheaper if I find the right stores. Anyway. Well, not every province, because I do know the prices in, like, Manitoba. Uh, no, sorry, not Manitoba. In uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia are actually more expensive than here. The Ontario government community tax in a case of two, four cans is more than... And these taxes fund important services like health care and education. Convenience stores and gas station liquor sales won't lead to lower prices without major alcohol tax cuts. Who is actually asking for that? We all know why well i would love it but i know why i'm paying that tax i'm paying that tax to pay for everything that i use so i wouldn't be fighting for that to happen let's be honest here most of us realize that our beer prices are not going to go down we want this to open up the monopoly we want it to make there be specialty stores that bring in whatever they want or whatever we want we want it so that you can find beer in more places we want it so that you can find good beer and we want it so that you can actually get local craft beer. That's why I'm not huge on the con convenience store thing, but I'm huge against this stupid propaganda. <sighs> Striking the tax revenue 
generated per liter of alcohol sold in Alberta has declined dramatically in the years. Uh, Ontario, competitive even with higher rates. I don't even know why we're showing New York and Michigan on here. Why are we showing New York with its 22 cent taxes and Michigan with its 45 cent taxes? We know that they don't get taxed. We know how cheap their beer is. And we know why they cost $10,000 if you get a fucking cold. Okay? Quebec, cheaper beer taxes, yes. And then Ontario. There's Ontario's beer taxes just under $10 a case. Um, again... That's fine. I'm willing to pay that because I get... My kid will have OSAP. I got OSAP. My wife got OSAP. Uh, ODSP. Um, OHIP. Everything like that is paid for mostly by cigarettes and booze. So let's forget about cutting taxes. Let's forget about trying to get the beer prices lower by cutting taxes. Let's try and get a little bit of the brewer greed out of there. Let's try and get a little bit of the uh, greed from the convenience stores out of there because they're just looking at what profit margins they can get. They're trying to lobby us to be on their side. See, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here. The corner stores are trying to lobby us to be on their side, but for the most part, they care about the profits they can make. They know how much profit is being made on beer in the States. Convenience stores and gas station liquor sales won't lead to lower prices without major alcohol tax cuts. We all know that already. Matching New York's beer tax rate would cost Ontario $750 million a year on beer alone. Who is saying, let's... Oh my god, you people. Prefer facts to myths. <laughs> I do prefer facts to myths. I wish I could get some facts here. Some actual facts. Um, convenience store and gas station alcohol sales lead to increased sales to minors and increased enforcement costs for governments. For beer store runs a first-rate responsible sales system. The beer store's deep commitment to responsible service is demonstrated in its actions. Operates a highly effective challenge and refusal program, We ID 25, where anyone who appears 25 or younger is asked for ID. Now, how many of you know people that are under 19 that looks more than 25? Hell, I do. There are some girls that look like they're 30. They look smoking, and then you find out they're fucking like 15 or 16. Like, come on now. Um, trains all staff... In responsible sale practices. Well, that's something that anyone will have to do if this gets released. I mean, the LCBO does the same thing. Uh, the mystery shops, yeah, because that's really a good way to know. 3.5 million customers are challenged every year. That's great. It just takes one. It just takes one. Experience shows convenience stores and gas stations can't be trusted. <laughs> Oh, God. People, you just read this stuff, and here's 3.5 million people not giving beer. It doesn't matter. I bought beer all the time underage at a beer store. Um, U.S. Minor Compliancy Check Program Results. I don't know why they're showing you this either. This doesn't even matter. Retailers, 40. Here's some retailers that are 15. And you know what? Those retailers in California getting 15% are great, because in California, everybody's in the bikinis and everything else. They're all going to try and look special. They're all trying to look hot. And I could see that number being higher. Um, Ohio. Michigan, 14%. Really? Colorado, 15%. Yeah, New York is huge, and so is Arizona, and Illinois is pretty bad, too. But these are not showing anything amazing other than New York and Arizona. Everything else seems in line. I'd expect a failure rate of 15 to 20 percent because not every single person's getting ID'd ever. Ever. Get, oh, Matt agrees, of course, drive sober, dr arrive alive, drive sober, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, sorry guys, I'm just, I've gone over this stuff so much, I just want you to see how stupid this is now. The Beer Store's award-winning deposit return program is one of the most successful recycling systems in the world. They are. They really are. Unlike the blue box, taxpayers don't pay. Again, most people are not asking for the Beer Store to disappear, so I don't know why that even matters either. But whatever. Uh, they do run one of the most successful recycling systems in the world. I will give them that. Um... Beer bottles are reusable 15 times. 
Uh, it's funny because usually it's the craft breweries that buy the brand new bottles, and when the brand new bottles end up at the beer store, then the beer store's owners end up with those bottles each time. Um, what does it say here? That uh, the, if the deposit system is lost, packaging will increase, taxpayers will pay more, and without a deposit return system, the beer industry's environmentally preferred refillable bottle system, where bottles are refilled 15 times, would no longer be possible, thus realistic, uh, resulting in a shift to single-use glass bottles and cans. Um, the cans can be recycled at the recycling depot, or brought to a... Uh, a scrapyard, and they're a lot cheaper packaging-wise for the brewers than bottles. So that's another little piece of uh, tidbitted, a uh, little piece of tidbitted shit that people don't realize. That um, yeah, brewers would love to use cans because cans cost them a lot less. What else do we have here? We have studies, which you guys can read the studies if you want. I'm not going to go through them. But these studies are studies that are all on their side. If you go to the convenience store site, they're all going to be on their side, on the convenience store side. News, other viewpoints, and important articles. Actually, you know what? I'll give them credit. Some of these viewpoints are against them. So they are sharing a little bit of that. So one, two, three, four. I would give them... Of the five things here, well, six, right? We won't count the different news. But of the six topics here, four of them are propaganda, two of them are propaganda-filled, but are true. Product selection is true, as is the environmental thing. So I'll give them that. Again, I'm not against the beer store. I'm against propaganda trying to trick you. This stuff is stupid now. In all honesty, learn this stuff yourself. All I want is a reform of our beer industry. That's what I want. That's what a lot of people want. And our next video is going to be about that. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.